The Decider. One state wins game one, the other wins game two, setting up one final showdown between two bitter rivals to determine who will be holding up the prestigious State of Origin Shield for their respective state. This year we will once again witness another State of Origin Decider, so what a perfect time to look back at the incredible rugby league skill, the thrilling and exciting spectacle that draws a massive audience both in the stadium and around the world, and the classic Origin moments that we as fans will remember forever. For this list, we will only be considering State of Origin deciders where there was a three-game series, so single matches such as 1980, 1981 and the USA Exhibition match in 1987 will not be considered for this list. There have been 21 State of Origin deciders, with the first being in 1982 and the most recent being in 2020. Some matches didn't quite have its tough, fast-paced and skillful nature that State of Origin is known for, but other matches certainly lived up to the hype and expectations that we as fans are expecting from the deciding Game 3 of the State of Origin series, as this is Greatest Game of All, and this is every State of Origin decider ranked from worst to best. Number 21, 1992. With the King Wally Lewis hanging up his crown, it was the perfect opportunity for New South Wales to create their own legacy in State of Origin, and Benny Elias certainly influenced that in Game 1, suffering from a head clash where he had to get 10 stitches and was able to play through it, concluding with one of the most iconic photos in rugby league. Game 2 finished with a one-point Queensland victory thanks to a field goal from Alan Langer. Queensland came out of the blocks firing in Game 3, putting on two massive hits in the opening 10 minutes. Ricky Stewart ran through a lacklustre Maroons defence to score a great opening try in the 14th minute. A Malmaninga penalty goal late in the first half would leave the half-time score at 4-2 after a sloppy attacking half but good desperation defence. The Blues scored a brilliant try which involved Laurie Daly, Paul McGregor and Andrew Enninghausen who eventually scored the try to break the deadlock. John Cartwright would score for the Blues not long after and Tim Brasher pulled off an incredible try-saving tackle on Mark Coyne which helped seal the 16-4 win for the Blues. Number 20, 1982. The first three game series for State of Origin football from the success of the standalone 1980 and 1981 clashes. Game one was a Blues victory with a great performance by Steve Mortimer. Mortimer, 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 yes! Game two was a Queensland victory which saw Paul Fatty Vorton scoring a try to seal the game. Who's got it? Fumbles. Rowan Hancock to his feet, he's got it away to Vaughn, Vaughn's in! Game 3 started with Mark Murray making a break to set up a supporting Rowan Hancock, who scored the first try, and shortly after, Les Boyd and John Downing got into a scuffle, which saw both players sent to the Symbian. Philip Duke would hit back for the Blues, leaving the score at 5-2 to the Maroons, and a sea of penalty goals only saw one try in the second half, which turned out to be a match ceiling one for the Maroons, as a costly mistake from the Blues in the in-goal area saw Wally Lewis score a try, and end up winning the match for Queensland 10-5. Oh, and he's taken beautifully and uh, stopped in his tracks by McCabe. Loses the ball, it's a try. Number 19, 2015. In the eyes of New South Wales fans, this decider is one of the worst. But in the eyes of Queensland fans, it's probably in their top five. The deciding Game 3 of the 2015 series came as a true shock to Rugby League fans after Game 1 was decided by one point thanks to a Cooper Cronk field goal in the final six minutes of play. From Cooper, Happy. he turns his back, he knows it's there. Game 2 was neck and neck until Josh Dugan scored with 10 minutes remaining to seal the 8 point win for the Blues. Hopkinson, Dugan, Dugan, Dugan scores! Even without the injured Billy Slater, Game 3 was one of the most dominant Queensland performances of all time. Debutant Dane Gagai scored the opening try in the corner and Jonathan Thurston put Josh Papali'i through a hole and then did the same for Greg Inglis. A few calls were going Queensland's way with Mick Ennis having something to say. You're getting overwhelmed by the crowd mate. A 22-6 halftime lead was soon extended by the Maroons with this spectacular effort from Justin Hodges knocking it back to his Broncos teammate Matt Gillette. An outside-inside play set up a Michael Morgan try. Outside-inside, Michael Morgan scores! Then Morgan himself set up Darius Boyd in the corner. Michael Jennings scored the Blues' first and only try in the 60th minute and the Maroons weren't done with yet with Will Chambers and Aidan Guerra scoring tries leaving the final score at 52-6 which is the biggest winning margin in Origin history. Number 18, 1983. A solid Queensland performance in Game 1. Goes back to Murray. Murray adds him up. Murray, Murray's in! Oh, so easy! To New South Wales winning a gritty Game 2 at the wet and muddy SCG. 
he's got it, Ellis picked it up and Ellis got over the score! Game 3 was certainly not what people expected, with a record 65 points being scored in the match, which was a credit to both teams' attack, but it wasn't the reputation that State of Origin had come to build itself on, with the lacklustre defence making it a point-scoring barrage. Going into the match with the bruised jaw, Wally Lewis had one of his greatest games in a Maroon jumper, helping the Maroons to a 21-0 half-time lead, with tries to Greg Kinescu, Steve Stacey and Mitch Brennan. The second half was much the same, with Brennan grabbing his second, and Brian Niebling scoring to extend Queensland's lead. A Chris Anderson hat-trick and a Steve Mortimer masterclass helped the Blues with a spirited fight back, but it was all too late, with Queensland winning the match 43-22. Number 17, 1999. After a very closely contested first two games, with game one being decided by one point thanks to a Matt Rogers field goal. Back they go for Matt Rogers! Oh. Matt Rogers! The hand goes up! And game two was a Laurie Daly masterclass in his final Origin series, left us with a decider in game three. It was terrible conditions at Suncorp Stadium, which forced a lot of drop ball, but the skill of both teams was still able to produce a decent match. Matt Guy scored the first try in the ninth minute, and it could have been another for the Blues, but Luke Rigginson couldn't handle a pass from Ben Kennedy. Instead, Queensland scored at the other end of the ground through Paul Green, which gave us a 6 all halftime scoreline. Darren Lockyer scored for Queensland straight out of the break, and Queensland held on to their lead for most of the second half until Matt Guy scored this try to tie the game. John's away for him. New South Wales had a full set of six to try and steal the game in the final minute, but a knock-on confirmed the first ever drawn series in Origin history, but ultimately, it was Queensland who would retain the shield, having won it the previous year. Number 16, 1994. This decider was known as Queensland captain Mel Meninga's final Origin match and it was in front of a huge crowd at Lang Park. Game 1 was one of the greatest Origin matches of all time, which finished with that Mark Coyne miracle try. Langer gets it away! Here's the big fella! Gets the pass on! Coyne! Coyne! Game 2 was a New South Wales domination, winning 14-0, and the momentum would continue over into Game 3, as they scored the opening try thanks to an intercept from Benny Elias, where he found Bradley Clyde to run away to score. Shortly after, Blue skipper Laurie Daly scored one of the great Origin tries, stepping his way through the Maroons' defence, scoring beside the post. The third tackle, Stewart across for Daly, Daly, Laurie Daly, oh! Brett Mullins would score an intercept try, but Queensland's Andrew G scored a try just before the halftime siren to make the score 18-6 at the break. Benny Elias opened the second half with a field goal to give the Blues a 13-point lead. Steve Renoff would hit back for Queensland, scoring in the 55th minute. Brad Fittler would kick another field goal for the Blues, giving them an 8-point lead. The Maroons had over 15 handling errors in the match, which ultimately sealed the win for the Blues, with Brad Fittler scoring an intercept try. A late field goal from Benny Elias left the final score at 27-12, spoiling Mel Meninga's farewell party and winning their third consecutive series. Number 15, 2005. Game 1 was one of the greatest origin matches of all time as Matty Bowen scored an intercept try in golden point extra time. It's gone on to Kamali, intercept for Bowen, that's the end of it, Bowen has his hand in the air. Game 2 saw the heroic return of Andrew Johns, who played quite possibly the greatest match by an individual player in origin history, setting the stage for the decider at Suncorp Stadium, which would end up being Andrew Johns' final origin match. The foundation was laid down early in the match, with New South Wales defending their try line for five sets of six. Andrew Johns continued his brilliance from Game 2 into this game by setting up the first two tries of the match. The first was a short ball to his halves partner, Brayton Astor, and the second was a crossfield kick to Mark Gaznia. Chances the kick, there's plenty of chases, they got a try out of it! Things then started to heat up as Ben Ross attempted to pick up Ben Kennedy after he was hit from a tackle from Michael Crocker, which was put on report. The Blues would take advantage of the penalty with Matt King scoring in the corner, leaving the halftime score at 18-0. The Blues went bang bang and bang, scoring the first three tries of the second half thanks to a brilliant pass from who else but Andrew Johns to Matt King to score his second. Tamana Tahu scored after an error from Matty Bowen, and Matt King scored his hat-trick thanks to some quick hands down the Blues' right edge. Two late tries from Jonathan Thurston and Matty Bowen left the final score at 32-10 to the Blues, winning their third series in a row. Number 14, 2004. Every game of this series had a classic Origin moment. Game 1 saw the first Golden Point match in Origin history, with Sean Timmons kicking the winning field goal. We are in Golden Point extra time. A shot from Timmons has got the height. It's got yeah. the length. 
Game 2 was known for the incredible Billy Slater try. Was he onside? Slater, down the ground, he kicks again, he'll get there, he's over! And Game 3 was Brad Fittler's final Origin match, finishing with the game-clinching try. The Blues scored the first try through rookie centre Mark Gaznia, and shortly after, tempers flared with Marco Milley and Michael Crocker getting into a scuffle. Queensland scored their first try down their left edge, which was finished off by Billy Slater. The Blues would score two quick tries going into half-time, thanks to Trent Barrett and Mark Gaznia who grabbed his second, leaving the half-time score at 18-8. The Blues would score their first two tries out of the break through Luke Rooney and Anthony Minicello. Late in the second half, Brad Fieler charged down a Darren Lockyer kick and regathered the ball to score under the sticks in a fitting farewell for the Blues legend. Lockyer, charge down, no knock on. Fiddler's going to score. Fiddler, it's farewell. Matty Bowen would score a late try to leave the final score at 36-14. This was the first series to introduce the Wally Lewis medal for player of the series, and Craig Fitzgibbon received the prestigious honour. Number 13, 1998. The Super League Alliance stars were back for both states with the newly formed NRL kick-starting a new era in rugby league. The best of the best were on show on the big stage and it showed in Game 1 with one of the great origin matches which was finished off with the Tony Carroll game-winning try in the final minute of play. Game 2 was a 26-10 win for the Blues with a solid performance from Andrew Johns forcing a decider in Sydney. New South Wales were under an injury cloud with six of the originally selected players becoming unable to play, which included Paul Harrigan, Jeff Toovey, and men of the match from Game 2, Rodney Howe. Kevin Walters slid through a gap to grab first points, and Gordon Tallis made a break and offloaded to a steaming Ben Eichen to score Queensland second. He brushed away one of the defenders, and here's Ben Eichen! He's in the big space and he'll score! <laughs> A late first half try from Kevin McGuinness left the halftime score at 12-4. A 64th minute try from Alan Langer extended Queensland's lead and the match was well and truly over when Jason Smith slotted through a field goal, giving Queensland a 19-4 victory. Number 12, 2001. From playing a round 16 clash for Warrington in the Super League to getting an SOS call to play an Origin decider. For the first time since 1998, Queensland legend Alan Langer was back in the Origin arena hoping to help his injury fill Maroons to a huge series win. With 10 debutants in Game 1, Queensland surprisingly pulled off a Game 1 victory, but the Blues dominated Game 2 in Sydney, leaving us with this much-speculated decider. It couldn't have started any worse for the Maroons, with John Buttigieg losing the ball on the first run of the match, leading to a Ryan Gurler try, which is the quickest try in Origin history, with 39 seconds gone. Queensland hit back with Chris Walker and Paul Bowman scoring in quick succession, but late in the first half, the Maroons went on a tear with Dane Carlaw, Chris Walker grabbing his second, and Darren Lockyer all scoring within 8 minutes of play, giving Queensland a commanding 28-8 lead. The lead was extended thanks to one of the great origin moments with Alan Langer scoring this brilliant try. Langer, danger, danger, Langer's over! From there, the Maroons ran away with the match to beat the Blues 40-14, with Bowman and Lockyer getting their doubles in the second half. Number 11, 2011. This try won Game 1 for Queensland. Queensland, 15 from the line. Lockyer's got Slater with him, there he goes, there he goes! And this try sealed Game 2 for New South Wales. Here they go! Salad! 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 He got the ball away! It's a try! which left us with a highly anticipated decider at Suncorp Stadium. It would be Darren Lockyer's final Origin match and New South Wales were looking to win their first series since 2005. A brilliant Jonathan Thurston kick for Greg Inglis in the corner opened the scoring and the Maroons took over the first half with Sam Thide, Cameron Smith and Jarrell Yao Yi all scoring tries to give them a quick 24-0 lead. But too much needed late first half tries from the Blues through Anthony Minocello and Aquila Uate narrowed the gap to 14 going into half time. Queensland's worst nightmare arose in the 56th minute as Jonathan Thurston would miss the rest of the match due to a knee injury. But the nightmare was short-lived thanks to this brilliant Billy Slater try. Can sense it. Here's Lockyer. Slater outside, inside. Slater. Slater scores. Greg Inglis crossed over shortly after, and a couple of late tries from Jared Hayne and Greg Bird left the final score at 34 to 24, sending out Darren Lockyer a winner in his final Origin match. Number 10, 2017. A dominant New South Wales performance led by Andrew Fafita in Game One. He's getting it inside for Fafita. Steps out of a tackle. Got the ball away. Maloney, right 
foot looks for the line. So one of the great comebacks finished off with a Jonathan Thurston game-winning conversion in his final Origin match. It's coming back. 18-16. Left us with a highly anticipated Game 3 with Thurston passing on the number 6 jersey to a rising star called Cameron Munster, who had one of the best Origin debuts of all time. Valentine Holmes scored the opening try, then Cooper Cronk was denied a try as he lost the ball just before the line thanks to a Brett Morris tackle. But Cooper Cronk quickly made up for it with a pinpoint accurate crossfield kick, hitting Valentine Holmes on the chest for his second, leaving the score at 12-0 at the break. Josh Tugan scored the Blues first, but debutant Cameron Munster created something out of nothing to set up Valentine Holmes' third try. Here's Munster making a big run! 20 metres out! 10 metres out! And only six minutes later, he offloaded to Jared Wallace to score under the sticks. Munster got a ball away again! Here's the ball. Which wrapped up the match with Queensland winning 22-6 and winning their 11th series in 12 years. Cameron Smith won his 7th Man of the Match award in his 42nd and final match for Queensland, ending his Origin career in the most perfect setting. Number 9, 2013. 8 in a row. That's what was on the line for the Maroons in this decider, but they had to do it at Stadium Australia. A 14-6 Game 1 victory in Sydney for the Blues certainly got the state's hopes up. They put him down right in the middle of the ground. It goes away to Pierce again. Lewis a tap down to Hayne. Hayne's over! But they were brought back down the reality with Queensland winning Game 2 in Brisbane. Maroon, Marauders! And they went up fast and Boyd! Boyd has hurt them! New South Wales were without a lot of star power with Paul Gallen and Jared Hayne both out with injuries, but that didn't stop the 83,818 fans from turning up, which was one of the highest attendances for a sporting event at this venue after the 2000 Sydney Olympics. A brilliant individual try from Jonathan Thurston opened the scoring in the ninth minute, Blues winger James McManus was able to hit back for the Blues and a very dodgy grounding from Darius Boyd saved a Josh Morris try just before half time with the score remaining 8-4 to to Queensland. A beautiful Cooper Cronk pass to Justin Hodges gave Queensland a 12-4 lead but Trent Merrin was able to break a tackle to score with 10 minutes remaining. Then, one of the most unusual moments in Origin history occurred as a streaker dove right in the middle of the Queensland attack and depending on which way you want to look at it, it may have denied Queensland a serious clinching try, or because of the infringement, it gave the Maroons six more tackles, which could have denied New South Wales a chance to go the length of the field to snatch a series win. Under Matt Scott, and the front row forward scores! Here it comes, with yellow shirts and everyone all over him, he's in the way, but... Nevertheless, the game finished with the Queensland victory an anticlimactic finish, with this being the final series win from their eight in a row dominance. Number 8, 2002. Standout performances from debutant Brett Hodson and a man of the match performance from Andrew Johns helped the Blues convincingly win Game 1 in Sydney. Queensland were able to bounce back in Game 2 thanks to a record 18 point game from winger Lottie Dekiri. McKenna, McKenna now, gets it round the corner. Lottie would continue his form over into the decider, pouncing on a beautiful grubber from Darren Lockyer for first points. Shortly after, the Blues hit back with Trent Barrett finding Steve Menzies on the inside to score. Then in the 14th minute, one of the most iconic moments in Origin history occurred as a lightning fast Brett Hodson was stopped in his tracks by Gordon Tallis, where the raging ball dragged him the best part of 15 metres until he found the sideline. In his final Origin match, Alan Langer would grab his first of three try assists setting up Sean Berrigan, but it was Trent Barrett racking up his second try assist, making a break to set up Jason Moody, giving New South Wales a 12-8 lead at half time. Tamana Tahu would lose the ball over the line, which allowed Queensland to make their way downfield and score with Alan Langer giving the ball to a rampaging Shane Webke to score and give Queensland the lead. Darren Lockyer was denied a try which would have sealed the match, but instead New South Wales would score at the other end to take the lead with 5 minutes remaining. But in the final minute, the Maroons pulled off a miracle, scoring through Dan Carlaw to tie the game in the final minute of play. It's with Carlaw. He beats one. Carlaw's away. Carlaw will score. Lottie Dekiri would miss the conversion from the sideline, meaning the match would end in a draw, but Queensland would retain the series having won it in 2001. Number 7, 2008. Stadium Australia was the venue for this decider in 2008, with Queensland only winning one out of the 12 Origin matches played at this venue since its establishment in 1999. 
The Blues won game one in Sydney, 18 to 10. Spins and gives it Stuart Gaznia. Gaznia a fan. Gaznia inside ball. Stuart. And the Maroons won game two in Brisbane, 30 nil. Harrison on. Inglis with the fan. The big fan from Inglis steps over the 40, over the 30. Game three kicked off with series debutant Israel Folau capitalising on an Anthony Quinn mistake to score the first try. The Blues were able to hit back with Matt Cooper, with Queensland half Scott Prince also breaking his forearm, ruling him out for the game. Quinn's nightmare continued as he saw Israel Folau soar above him to score one of the best tries from a crossfield kick to grab his second try. The second half saw a dangerous tackle from Nate Miles which started a fight and most of the second half was a stalemate until some Jonathan Thurston magic set up what ended up being the series winning try. Jonathan Thurston short side on a rush and tries to Thurston's gone inside 30, gets up the slider! A few last ditch efforts from the Blues gave the Maroons a scare, but Queensland defended their line for most of the final 10 minutes to hold on for a 16-10 victory and a 2008 series win. Number 6, 1987. 1987 was certainly a series to remember with record crowds, brilliant rugby league skill and classic origin moments. One of those moments occurred in Game 1 with New South Wales centre Mark McGaw scoring this game winning try in the dying stages. Game 2 saw a Queensland victory in torrential rain in Sydney on the Lewis, Lewis on the Mars, a little hand the ring. But it was Game 3 that truly defined what origin football is all about end-to-end -end footy and working hard in defence. An incredible opening try that saw Gary Belcher offload just before the trial into Bobby Linder but the Blues were able to hit back through David Boyle Greg Dowling would put an unexpected kick through for Dale Shearer to score, giving Queensland a 10 to 8 lead at half time. Colin Scott would drop the ball over the line which would have wrapped up the series for the Maroons, but when the Blues tried to capitalise, Wally Lewis put on a huge hit, stopping Michael O'Connor in his tracks. Kenny, Kenny getting a lovely short pass away to Michael O'Connor, the step, oh! After holding on for a two point lead for all of the second half, with New South Wales having most of possession and throwing everything at the Maroons, Queensland were able to hold them out and win an epic decider 10 to 8. Number 5, 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the NRL to postpone the 2020 series until November and what a series it was. There was much talk in the media before the series, with a few high profile media personalities labelling the Maroons as the worst Queensland side ever. Dean Ritchie in The Telegraph has said this is the worst Queensland team in 40 years. Is that fair or unfair? Fair. This created a lot of anticipation to a series with restricted crowds. Game 1 was played in Adelaide with Queensland naming 8 debutantes and 2 of those were Kurt Cable and AJ Brimson who scored this try to help them to an 18-14 victory. Lindsay tackle, strides inside 30, puts the kick in, here comes Brimson! Brimson gets the bounce! Game 2 was all New South Wales as they scored all their tries from close range. Plays the ball a metre away, it's out to Trebojevic and gone to Cleary, it's now with Tedesco, he's over! After losing Game 2, Queensland brought in four additional debutants for Game 3, hoping to change the result from Game 2. Valentine Holmes scored the first try but it was one of those debutants, Corey Allen, who made a mistake which led to a James Tedesco try. But in the 19th minute, New South Wales captain James Tedesco would suffer from a concussion, ruling him out for the game. The Maroons capitalised with Cameron Munster once again shining in the spotlight, putting in a double kick and had the presence of mind to kick on the first tackle to his winger Edric Lee for Queensland's second try, leaving the score at 12-6 at half time. Here he is again! Left foot kick! There's open pasture! Oh, that might have cost him! Super sub Harry Grant was able to reach out and score, giving Queensland a 20-6 lead with only 17 minutes remaining. But the Blues were able to hit back only two minutes later with Daniel Tupo crossing over. Valentine Holmes could have had his second try, but he lost the ball over the line. Queensland were down the 12 men for the remaining three minutes of the match as Corey Allen got sent to the sim in for a professional foul, taking out Josh Adokar, with commentator Phil Good arguing that it should have been a penalty try. Well, Josh Adokar is the fastest man on the planet. He's taken out. He's the fastest man on the planet. He's the fastest man on the planet. He'd have got there, Rabbits. He'd have got there. He's the fastest man on the planet. He's the fastest man on the planet. Incredibly, Queensland were able to hold out the Blues to pull off a 20-14 Game 3 victory and one of the all-time State of Origin series upsets. And on behalf of the worst ever Queensland team, thank you very much. 
Number 4, 2006. The start of the dynasty and arguably the greatest, most important and potentially the best decider for Queenslanders. Losing the previous three series, it was a must-win series for Queensland. Otherwise, players such as Petro 7 receiver Steve Price and even captain Darren Lockyer were told that if they lose this series, they would never play Origin again. It didn't get off to a great start with the Blues taking out Game 1 with a late call-up Brett Finch snapping through a 35-metre field goal with 90 seconds remaining. Finch takes the shot! It's got the He's heart! Yes! It's got the leg! I think yes! it's there! Yes, it's there! A Jonathan Thurston masterclass and a brilliant debut from Queensland winger Adam Mogg helped Queensland to a dominating 30-6 victory in Brisbane. For the first time since 1997, Origin was moved to Melbourne, and we didn't know it at the time, but it would come to be one of the most important, career-defining, and of course, epic deciders in Origin history. It all started with the two people that helped Queensland immensely in Game 2, with Jonathan Thurston kicking across field with Adam Mogg just grounding the ball in time for the first try. But New South Wales scored 15 minutes later off an Eric Growth intercept, leaving us with a 4-all halftime scoreline. The Blues were able to take control of the second half, but both their tries did come with some controversy, with the potential knock-on from Nathan Hydemarsh, which led to a Matt King try, and a questionable Brett Hodson knock-on, leading to an Eric Growth try. All hope seemed to be lost, but Jonathan Thurston sparked a Brent Tate break, which saw him score with 9 minutes remaining. But only 2 minutes later, this pass would influence a legacy-defining moment for a player, a state, and the future of Origin football. The Blues slow to get back into the line. Oh! oh intercepted by Lockie! He scored! Oh, no! That try would win the series for Queensland, and as many people know, they would win the following seven series. Number 3, 1991. Regarded as one of the best series in Origin history, with Game 1 being a defensive masterclass, Game 2 was the Michael O'Connor sideline conversion to win the game. Gets it away nicely. He's kicked it. He's kicked it. He's got it. And the deciding Game 3 was no different, with Wally Lewis confirming at the end of the match that this would be his final State of Origin match after dominating the Origin Arena. Young gun Brad Filler would put a brilliant kick for Chris Johns to score the opening try, but the Maroons would answer with fullback Paul Hoff touching down, and a cheeky Alan Langer kick led to a Michael Hancock try, giving Queensland an 8-4 lead at the break. The Blues would start off the second half strong with the Michael O'Connor try. Marty Bella was sent to the Simbin, and Des Hasler crossed over from a deflected kick, Coming down to the dying stages of the series, an incredible cutout ball from Alan Langer found Dale Shearer where he scored to tie the game at 12 all, which gave Mel Meninga a kick from the sideline to win the series for the Maroons and send the King out in style. Oh, 23 metres out, there it goes, it looks okay from where I'm sitting. Oh yes, he's got it! The big fella's done it! Number 2, 2012. Out with the old and in with the new. In what was arguably the closest New South Wales had come to breaking the Maroons' eight-year series winning streak, the 2012 decider was set up to be a game of epic proportions. Queensland won game one on the back of a controversial Greg Inglis try. And it knocks it back. Josh Morris can't get at the football. Inglis loses it. He's lost it. New South Wales held on to win game two 16-12, with Michael Jennings saving a potential Brent Tay game-winning try with 10 minutes remaining. Then puts the kick over towards the wing of Tate. Oh, he was about to put it down. Queensland star fullback Billy Slater was ruled out of the decider due to an injury which shifted Greg Inglis to fullback. A push and shove in the opening 90 seconds saw Brent Tate throw a punch which got both teams fired up. Brett Morris scored the opening try, but his opposing winger Darius Boyd hit back with a try of his own. Jonathan Thurston and Justin Hodges both scored tries, giving Queensland a 16-8 halftime lead. The Blues scored the first try in the second half, with Brett Stewart pouncing on a brilliant Robbie Farrah kick. An insane try saver from Josh Morris on Greg Inglis gave his team a spark, but it all lit up when he scored a brilliant try with 10 minutes remaining to tie the game. Then, with 6 minutes remaining, Queensland's newest halfback established himself on Origin's biggest stage and kicked a 40-metre field goal which would eventually win the game and the 7 straight series for the Maroons. So they're on the last tackle and Cooper's gone for a long-range shot! Oh, it's got plenty of distance! 
and number one, 2019. A tense, back and forth first half and typical Queensland comeback when all hope seemed to be lost to one of the greatest moments in Origin history. The 2019 decider had just about everything you'd expect in a State of Origin match and we all got to watch it knowing that whoever wins will win the series. Before we get onto this emotional roller coaster that was Game 3, Queensland won Game 1, holding on for an 18-14 victory thanks to a man of the match performance from Dan Gagai. Sending Shade, oh, intercepted! His 10th Origin try in 11 games! Game 2 was a New South Wales onslaught with Tom Trevojevic scoring a hat trick after missing Game 1. Trevojevic, Tom is after it, he's very lanky, Pong is underneath. A trip to a sold-out Stadium Australia for a deciding Game 3 was all set to go. Debutant Corey Norman set up for Lee Scafuzzi for the opening try, but Paul Vaughan was able to hit back, levelling the scores at 8 all at half-time. James Tedesco scored in the 50th minute and only 9 minutes later, hooker Damian Cook scored a great individual try from dummy half, giving the Blues a commanding 20-8 lead. Time was ticking away from the Maroons as it got into the final 10 minutes and it looked like the Blues would hold on to win the series. But as they've done so often in the past, Queensland were able to pull off a miracle comeback to tie the game and with a determined Josh Maguire try with 9 minutes remaining and a beautiful Daly Cherry Evans pass to Josh Papali'i in the 76th minute, scoring 2 tries in only 5 minutes. With extra time looming, a cutout pass in the final 40 seconds from recalled Blues halfback Mitchell Pearce sparked a break from the Blues right edge, with Blake Ferguson miraculously staying in the field of play to pass inside to James Tedesco to score a miracle series winning try. Stand up, now he throws the pass, he's got it back to you know who, Tedesco for the corner. The try created one of the greatest moments in Origin history and perfectly concluded what is, in our opinion, the best State of Origin decider. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chuck us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.